Welcome back to Tabletop Jason. Today we're taking a look at Alcatraz. To escape, you must first break in. This looks like a, I'll say, non traditional game. It doesn't seem like a type of game I would often try playing, but it does look interesting. I picked this up kind of on a whim. It was, well, I won't admit to sometimes being a little more frugal than I seem. And this was on sale for 10 bucks at Target. And sometimes you can get pretty good deals on games when you see them on clearance. This looks pretty cool. It even says it's cool. Try to break into other cool places like kitchen. Huh. That must be a, a Mayan thing or something, I guess. I don't know. And Area 51. Let's see, Area 51. Oh yeah, I'm familiar with that. I've been obsessed with it since I was like 15. That one looks really cool. We'll see if this thing, if this looks good, maybe I'll pick up those other two. But first, let's look outside the box. You are the outside man breaking into Alcatraz to help a few of your buddies escape the inescapable prison. Sorry if there's some noise, there's like some weird stuff going on inside there. They're building a house on a lot, a couple blocks away and, and I hear some noise. So sorry if, if there's some background noise there. Uh, this game's collaborative, solve clues. Okay, I, wonder, I hope this is something you can play more than once. Let's see, where does it say? Oh, here we go. Ages 10 and up, two hours to play, holy cow. One to six players. Well, if it's one to six players, that must mean it's not like a one-time game. I Some of those games like that, it's kind of like you solve a mystery and then that's it. And you're done. It is... Who's this by? Um, Play Monster. By Play Monster LLC. Okay, well, that's cool. I guess enough with the noise making. Let's give this guy a look. Usually I see this kind of packaging on Funko games. And there we go with precision that would get me out of Alcatraz. Let's flip it open. Let's pop it open and see what's inside. Uh oh. The box. Okay, we've got. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. We'll get to those in a second. Let's see what else we have. Okay, we've got instructions. Do not. What? Do not open the box until you are directed to. Do not continue until your whole group is present. Uh. Uh. What? This might be the shortest unboxing we've ever seen. Does that seriously mean this? Uh. I don't even know how to open that. Let's open these cards up and try to figure out what's going on. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in these. Ah. Look at that. So is this box empty? There's something in there. There's a map. How do you get in there? Wait a minute. Is that the mystery? Is that the part of the game? Okay, for the first time ever, I've been outsmarted by an unboxing. But let's open these up and uh, we'll spare the knife. Well, maybe we won't. Okay, now let's not chop off a finger. There. And, uh, whoops. There we go. Okay. Ah! Okay, I've really got to be careful here. My kids are going to be like, uh, my daddy chopped off his thumb using an oversized knife to open a game. Okay, what do we have here? Are there instructions in this?
That looks like something you must need 3D glasses to read or decoding glasses. Holy cow! Ages 10 and up? Maybe it means like ages 45 and up. No, I'm 45. Maybe ages 46 and up. We see how this decoder thing works. Uh, are we doing a spoiler? Oh my goodness. This is crazy. What are these? Solution sticks. This game looks complicated, but it looks kind of cool. And then what are these? These must be the cards. These are the other cards. Okay, well, we kind of see what's inside the box then. And my guess, well, what does it say about these radios? Oh, you think it means the cards like that? Let's see. Um, make sure cards 5 and 48 have punch outs removed. Okay, I am kind of like crazy that I like keeping these things in pretty good shape until I play them, so I'm not really going to delve too much into other stuff. This looks like a little kind of map you build. There's a wrench. Okay, well, I don't know. I guess that's it. Okay, sorry about that. Had a minor technical difficulty, but we are back. What was I saying? I was saying I wasn't sure if I should open this box, but you know what? That doesn't even make sense, does it? Because there's stuff in the box, and when the instruction says, do not open, I'm gonna guess that, that means when you're playing and a card tells you to open. So, let's see what we have here. And if I'm wrong, well, I'm wrong. How do you think we open this thing? Uh, Oh, wait, look at that. Okay, ah, uh, stuff is happening. There's something in there. Maybe that's what they say not to open. Let's just pull all this apart. Look at that. You can't have an unboxing without opening the box. Okay, if I'm wrong, we'll live. Okay, oh, this comes apart. Okay, hmm. I hope I, well, let's see, okay. It must not, I hope this is like going to be okay. There we go. Oh, okay. And there we go. Maybe this is the box. There's stuff in there. Do we open this box? Oh, look at that. It's a jail cell. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It looks like that does actually open. Should we see? This must be the box we're not supposed to open. Oh man, I'm scared of breaking it. Okay, let's just be very gentle. Well, maybe. Um, it's not glued, it seems like. Oh goodness, oh right, there it goes. So, uh, while we do this, you hear any good jokes? Whoa, come on, okay, and one more. I bet the more you play this, the easier it gets to get in there. There's, uh, oh criminy, I'm scared of breaking this. There's a thing there, uh, well. They say age is 10 and up. If I gave this to my, my oldest isn't quite 10, but if I gave him this, he would destroy it. What in the world? Oh, this comes off. This Putting this game away might be as complicated as Ghost Castle. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm breaking it. I'm scared. Uh, it looks like, huh, uh, I guess we can try to unhook this. Okay. And this. And... This is why they say don't open the box. Look at that, we got it. And there's tools in there. Uh, let's see. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Well, we'll have to learn how to play this. That's as far as I want to go. It's neat, but goodness. I have no idea how to play this. It looks so complicated. But 
It can't be that complicated. It only takes two hours. I've done D&D &D campaigns that were less than two hours. I might not do a solo play of this. I might have to do this with other humans. I don't think you could tolerate watching me play this for two hours. But that's it. I made a mess. We'll have to clean this up later. This is break in Alcatraz. It looks fun. It looks cool. I will at some point play this and give you a review and a quick how to play video. But before that happens, I'll be back with another video next week. So go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.